Hey, welcome to Quick Tips. Uh, today I want to talk about how to bend uh, an object uh, from an image that you imported to Lightburn. So for this specific video, I'm going to show you how I did it for this Overlord image that I imported to uh, Lightburn. Uh, I have a 3D model that I 3D printed and it has a circular base uh, that you can see here on the screen. I wanted to fit the title in a circular or bent fashion so it can fit the uh, base. But in Lightburn specifically, you, you cannot bend it. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna save it as an SVG file first. And after we import it as an SVG file, we're gonna go to Ink Inkscape. Uh, Inkscape is a free software tool that you can download on your uh, Windows or probably Mac. I haven't, I don't, I don't know if they have it. They probably have it on Mac as well. Uh, so anyways, uh, when you import it, make sure to make sure to include the SVG file as uh, editable object uh, so that you can actually you know, edit the object. Um, uh, after you do that, uh, move your object around, resize it to, the, to, you know, to fit within uh, the frame that you have on your screen. Uh, and then you need to, go to, uh, need to go to the path tab shown here uh, on your toolbar. Press path effects. You click on the icon right next to the bent path, and then you have this green light. Grab it and move it around. Uh, it will change the shape of your uh, object or SVG. Uh, and as you can see, you can make all kind of cool uh, shapes. Uh, for my purpose, I want it to be circular, so I kept it this way. And I'm gonna save it back in as, as an SVG file called overlord bent or i should say overlord bent uh so anyways we're going back we're gonna remove these guys and we're gonna import uh the svg file after we import it change the color make it a little bit smaller oops Control z a little bit uh, you know play with it a little bit make it the way you want it the size you want it sure you, you know uh, you position it where you want to position it uh, I usually just want it in the middle so I'm just gonna try it out and I don't like how it looks so I'm just gonna click on it shift click with the circle and then center it and bring it back down um, and yeah for this one I'm gonna try it again gonna see how it's gonna look uh, see if I'm satisfied with it yeah, looks good I think it runs in two and a half minutes, which is really nice. I'm just gonna save it. Uh, and yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's how you bend an image or an object uh, in Scape and use it in Liburn. Um, yeah, now you know, I know my method might not be the most efficient. I, it works for me, and hopefully, it'll save you some headaches. And there you have it. Quick tip to level up your uh, Liburn and Escape bending. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.